to the Hamburg Fairgrounds were hit hardest by damaging winds. Some workers found the windows to their cars smashed by flying debris. One car even had a stick impaled through the headrest. The McKinley Parkway side of the fairgrounds saw extensive damage for that tornado. And as Autumn mentioned, this was the path. It was the EF2 tornado that hit first. This morning, the fairgrounds, they are hours into the cleanup and they have a deadline here. August 9th, that's when the fair opens. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Liz Lewin live for us at the fairgrounds for us this morning. Liz, what are you seeing? I know you just got in. Good morning, Ed and Katie. I've now made my way into the property. I'm on the fairgrounds, the barricades behind me, but take a look around me. I'm standing in the midst of that debris from yesterday, from split trees to here. Take a look at this window, broken window. We've got insulation paneling to my left. This is a bit of what was left over from yesterday's tornado. And as you mentioned, Ed, cleanup is in order this morning. The fairgrounds were in full setup mode yesterday when that tornado hit between a couple hundred full time staff, seasonal employees and contractors. People have been putting in countless hours to get the grounds ready for that most highly anticipated event of the year. The county fair communications and PR manager Marty Binia says yesterday luck was on their side. Things could have turned out totally different. It was very fortunate because during this time of the year, we're not we're 20 days out from the fair. So at any one time, you've got a couple hundred full time employees, seasonal employees, individual contractors who are preparing for the fairgrounds. A lot of the damage you're seeing, the kiosks, the picnic tables, the booths and everything else that are putting on are, are we're just starting to go out into the fairgrounds. Now, Benny says this is crunch time. Crews are typically working around the clock, setting up and putting finishing touches together. Things happened so quickly yesterday, and luckily, he says no one was severely injured. Now, Rob, if you wouldn't mind just panning to that parking lot, take a look at the parking lot. That's where over 100 cars were damaged yesterday. As you can see, it's cleared out. I just saw Marty a few moments ago. He actually followed a tractor, so the cleanup continuing this morning. We're going to keep tracking it and keep you up to date as far as how they are doing here at the, fa at the Hamburg Fairgrounds. We're live in Hamburg this morning. Liz Lewin, 7 Eyewitness News. Okay, Liz, we'll check back in with you shortly.